you know, I would put that kind of back on the landlord as to why, given everything else going on right now, they chose now to pass that increase on to seniors. Why not just kick us when we're down? We told you about one of Congressman Michael Waltz's constituents, Catherine Simon, who lives in an apartment complex in Palm Coast, managed by Concord Rents. The company manages properties across Florida, like this complex in Maitland. Some here have also received notice of a rent increase. Concord Rents initially sent us this statement in part saying the amount and the timing of the monthly rent increases are determined by HUD and they released this information on March 31st. We have previously communicated the estimated amount and timing of HUD's anticipated increases to the residents who were expected to be impacted. But today, HUD released a statement saying that agency isn't to blame. They say, Quote, this is a property that participates in the low income housing tax credit program through the Internal Revenue Service. These properties base their rent on the income limits that HUD publishes at this time every year per our mandate. Since this is an IRS program, HUD has no control over how rents are set. This rent increase is not required or suggested by HUD, and we are surprised that a property owner would be so out of step with the moment in which we are living to seek one. A separate notice sent by Concord Rents to residents says it expects them to pay rent by using money like the $1,200 that's supposed to go to adults. That's coming through the federal government stimulus check and unemployment benefits to pay rent. Those are two things that have either not happened yet or are really hard to come by. Reporting in Orange County, Paul Rivera, West 2 News.